Hello people, we are from Breaking Code. Today we'll be solving another problem. The name of the problem is Think I'll buy me a football team. This problem is from sports.com. The link of the problem is in the description. The name of the problem doesn't quite match to what the problem actually is. In this problem, we'll be given lots and lots of banks which owe each other lots and lots of money. So let me uh, take the same example which is given in the problem. So yeah, this is the example 0, 50, 100, 0, 150. This is the example which is given in the problem. This indicates bank A, bank B, bank C, bank D. Again here A, B, C, D. So what this indicates is bank A will give zero dollars to bank A, which is quite obvious because of obvious reasons. Uh, th this 50 indicates that bank A will give 50 dollars to bank B. This 100 indicates bank A will give $100 to bank C and uh, A and E there is no transaction between them. Uh, again this uh, 150 indicates bank B will give $150 to bank A, 20 indicates bank B will give $20 to bank C and so on. So let me show you what this table indicates. Uh, let's make a diagram for this table. Bank A, B, C and D. Like A gives $50 to bank B. A gives 100 to bank C, B gives 150 to bank A, B gives 20 to bank C. So this is the diagram for the following table. So uh, we have to reduce and eliminate the redundant money in this following transaction. That is what the aim of the sum is. Uh, we have to minimize the money in the total number of money which will be required in the transactions. Like uh, take a simple example, C is giving $30 to bank D and D is giving $30 to bank A. So why do we need B, uh, D, bank D to be involved in this example? So what we will do is just eliminate bank D. Let directly bank C give bank A $30. Again, uh, take the similar example, bank A is giving $50 to bank B and bank B is giving $150 to bank A. So let's eliminate this transaction. Because 150 minus 50 is 100, that's why let only bank B give A $100. Again, uh, uh, there, there is a cycle here. So A is giving C 100 and C is giving A 30 which doesn't quite make sense so we'll eliminate this transaction and this becomes 70 so we have reached the stage now where b is giving 100 dollars to bank a a is giving 70 dollars to bank c and b is giving 20 to bank a so a is getting 100 dollars and a is passing on the 70 out of them to c so what i'll do in this case is just eliminate this transaction So let bank B give A only 30 because uh, which is passing on 70 to C either ways and uh, let B directly give 70 dollars to uh, it is uh, initially it was giving 20 now plus 70 gives 90. So this is the final figure for the sum uh, just uh, watch the video again if you don't get it uh, you will get it in no time because uh, it's slightly complicated here. Uh, so this is the final figure for the sum. So total number of money that will be required in the transaction will be 120 the initial amount like what we have to do is uh, initial amount by uh, all the transaction we got it as 380 dollars and uh, now it is only 120 dollars so we have reduced the money transaction by a greater extent so how to reduce this transactions like we are humans so we can do it now how the computer uh, how we'll write an algorithm for it now let me show you what the logic of this problem is so let me tell you the logic for this sum. So brace yourself to listen to the logic of this sum. So what we have to do is just form a table A, B, C, D. First column indicates input, second column indicates output. So from the so by looking at the figure, tell me the input of bank A. So the input of bank A which A is getting is 150 and again 30 dollars so total is 180. Output is 50 plus 100 is 150. 
Now let's take bank B. Its input is 50, only 50, and its output is 20 plus 150, which uh, makes it 170. Now let's take bank C. Its input is 100 plus 20, that is 120, and its output is only dollar 30. Cool bank. Uh, and uh, let's take bank D which is neutral it is getting 30 and it's sending 30 dollars to A so this bank doesn't make any sense so what we have to do is just take the difference between the input and output um, now uh, l l let me uh, show you what the logic of the sum is like let's take bank A bank A is uh, receiving 180 dollars and bank A is passing forward 150 so the final amount after the transaction with bank A will be 30 dollars so that we have to find out now let's take bank B its incoming is uh, $50 and outgoing is uh, $170 so the difference is minus 120 it means that after the final transaction bank A will be left with minus $120 that means uh, that bank is giving $120 uh, after the transactions so now let's take an example of bank C bank C uh, is incoming uh, the incoming amount of bank C is 120 the outgoing is 30 so the final is 90 dollars this means that uh, bank C is uh, getting 120 and it's giving 30 so the final amount remaining with bank C will be 90 dollars and this is zero it doesn't make any sense so what this indicates is uh, after the uh, all the transactions bank A will be receiving $30, bank C will be receiving $30 and bank B will be giving $120. The addition of this column should always be equal to 0. So this indicates that the money <coughs> so this indicates that the money is properly equalized and uh, um, the transaction is successful. So by looking at these figures, uh, let's uh, go to a little flashback and see the figure which we got as the final figure after all the transactions. So B was giving C $90 and uh, B was giving A $30. So this is what this uh, value indicates that B is giving $120 and A is receiving 30 of them and C is receiving $90. So this is what the logic of the sum is. What we have to do is the answer will be either the addition of positive values or the addition of negative values which is only minus 120 in this case. So this is what the logic of this sum is. Uh, we have to just make a column for input and output for each and every bank. We have to just find the difference. Uh, so difference between the input and the output. So we'll get the values. Uh, just add those values either positive or negative. And that's what our answer is. That's what the final transaction will uh, value will be. That is uh, in this case it is 120. So this is what the logic of the sum is. Thanks for watching the videos. We will be making more videos on sums. This was slightly a complicated example to think about. Uh, thanks for watching the videos. Do like the video and please subscribe to our channel. Peace. Goodbye.